Hello friends, I am Dr. Sarika Palwar. I welcome you all in video lecture series of uh, uh, 12th Computer Science. Uh, this is my third lecture. I, uh, I had started with uh, uh, part 1, Complete Computer Science uh, Syllabus of 12th Standard uh, of HSC Board is divided in two parts, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is uh, about uh, the uh, software part like uh, CPP programming and all and part uh, 2 is about the assembly language programming. So in part 1, we had started chapter 3, that is CPP programming and in CPP programming, today we will discuss classes and objects. So what is classes and objects in CPP? Now see students, uh, classes and objects are very important part in uh, CPP. Classes and objects are fundamental concepts of the object oriented programming. They help in organizing and managing the code in a more structured and reusable way. In fact, the object-oriented programming could be possi possible just because of the classes and objects in C++. So what is class? Class is a blueprint for creating objects. It defines a data type by bundling data and methods that operate on the data into one single in unit. It is just like a framework. It is just like a, a template. And be, because of that framework and template, the object creation will be possible. So think of a class as a template for an object. What is object? Object is an instance of a class. So when, when we uh, define a class, we define a blueprint of the object. And what is object? Object is associated with a class. Object is an instance of a class. When you create a class, no memory is allocated until an object of that class is created. So remember this thing. This is very important thing that when we define the a class, no memory is allocated. But when we create the object of that particular class, that only the then only the memory allocation will be done. So an object contains the actual values instead of just definition. Object-oriented programming is a methodology that gives program tools to make this modeling process is easier. So actually because of a class, we can model the object, we can create the object and object oriented programming is a methodology that gives programmers tools to make this modeling process easier. Software objects like real world objects have attributes and behavior. Remember students that everything in this world is object. Human is object, animals are object, pen is object, everything is object. Laptop is object, your mobile phone is object. So everything is an object. So like the real world object, the software objects which we create in a, a object oriented programming using C++ that the, also have the attributes and behavior. Every, every real world object has also got, got the uh, attributes and behavior. Similarly, software objects also has got the uh, attributes and behavior. Like I, you know, we as a human being have the attributes uh, uh, like uh, the two legs, two arms, two eyes, one nose. These are our attributes. And uh, we have the behavior like we can think, we can walk, we can talk. These are our behavior. So similarly, every, every software object also has got the attribute and behavior. It is based on real life entities that focuses on by uh, whom task is to be done rather by rather than focusing on what to do. You have to remember that it is not impor important what to do. It is important whom task is to be done, for whom the task is to be done. So that is more important as far as object are concerned. So it brings together, object brings together the data and functions that execute on them. So there are two important things in the you know, object, data and function. Data are also called as the data members and functions are also called as the member functions. Functions are also called as the methods. It basically supports encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism. Now, see student, you will frequently come across these terms uh, in the object-oriented programming chapter. Encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, these all are the characteristics of the object-oriented programming. And all these things are supported by the object. It also includes the data heading feature, therefore it is more secure. Because of the object, the data heading feature is possible and therefore we can say that data is more secure in object-oriented programming. So now in this case, in this diagram, you can see that there are three objects which are communicating with each other. 
and every object is associated with two things that is data data is nothing but the data member and function which is also called as the member function or method so every object is associated with these two things and every object can communicate with the other object also so we can say that data encapsulation is possible because of this because of this data and function which are binded together so here data and data and member functions are encapsulated together and since encapsulation is there data is more secure and data hiding is possible in object oriented programming which is one of the important feature data hiding feature is one of the important feature of the object oriented programming and that could be possible just because of the object which encapsulates the data and function together so what is class and object that we will understand with the help of uh, example so uh, to understand the classes and object let's consider a real life example that is a car which is also one of the object we will consider a car as an object which has got its own attributes and behavior attributes means uh, its characteristics its uh, uh, data so uh, we will define a, a class that is a car so a car has a certain attributes attributes are nothing but its data members and behaviors that is the member function and let's define a car in c++ now in this example so we will define a class car so how to define a class that we will see here there is a class car and inside the class we can define a data member as either public variable or a private variable now see public private these are the different types of the access specifiers who who actually decides the access method of a, a class variable okay if it is public then it is accessible throughout the uh, program and if it is private it is not accessible throughout the pro program it has the belongingness of that particular class so if the data member is private then it belongs to the class its accessibility is for the class only outside the class other class members cannot access that private variable only public variable can be accessed throughout the program okay so here under the public access method uh, there are uh, four uh, variables which are defined and two are the string brand and model already we have discussed the string variable declaration in our previous video and uh, here one integer variable is uh, declared that is uh, name is year and float variable is declared that is the mileage so these all data members these four data members which are under the public access specifier now member function as we have told that uh, we have discussed that uh, class uh, classes uh, are the framework they are the template for creating the object so uh, if uh, in in every object there are the data members and mem member functions that should be framed inside the class okay so inside the class only now we will uh, define the member functions also so there are uh, there is one member function that is the name of that uh, function is the start engine its return type is void here with this opening curly bracket the definition of the member function start and in this uh, uh, function we will just display one message by using the c out to, that is the engine started okay so that is the complete definition this is the complete definition of the start engine and here you have to observe one thing that the definition and declaration of the uh, member function is inside the class ne then next uh, member function we will uh, declare that is the uh, stop engine member function its return type is void and uh, here with the curly bracket we will uh, start defining the member function and uh, see uh, in, inside this we will just display one message with the help of c out and uh, that message is engine stop and uh, 
third member function is a display info member that is this is the name of the display info fun member function and this void is its return type and this is with the uh, opening curly bracket we will uh, start the definition of the uh, display info member function and uh, uh, we will just uh, display the brand model and year of make of that particular car so these member functions we are using just to display the information and messages so here the definition here the definition of the member function is display info member function is ending and now we have to close the class definition now here you can observe that with this green color closing curly bracket and after that there is one semicolon here the class definition ends okay so here in this class definition what we can observe that there are four data members and three member functions are there now next part after the class definition class template class framework we will be in the main fu main function of the c++ code and here for this main function we return type is the int and here with the opening curly bracket we are beginning with the definition of the main function now we will create the object of a car class as we have told as i have uh, told you earlier that when we create the definition of a class when we create the framework of a class the memory alloc allocation doesn't uh, take place but as soon as we create the object of a class the memory uh, allocation for that particular object will be done and here we are creating only one object uh, which belongs to the car which is our class so as soon as we create this object the object name is my car the memory allocation will take place in the memory okay so here what we can observe that my class it is the name of a object this is the object and how the memory allocation will take place inside this object there will be uh, the memory allocation of the four data members of that object there are four data members of the object and three member function so three member function memory allocation will take place so this imp very important thing you have to note that there is one object created and as soon as we create the object of a class what will happen memory allocation will be done and memory allocation will be done only for the data members and member functions which we have defined inside the class so these four member functions what are what is the name of these four member functions you see behind we will go back and see that there are four member functions brand model year and mileage of a car so these are the four member functions sorry four data members so for this four data members that is brand model year and mileage for these four data members the memory allocation will take place inside the object and there are two three member functions also okay that one is the display info start engine and stop engine so for these three member functions also memory allocation will take place and this is for only for one object which belongs to my car and now uh, with the help of this my car we can access the four data members we can modify the value of four data members so brand my car dot brand this we using this dot operator we can access the uh, brand data member which belongs to my car and we will initialize because it is a string variable we will initialize its value uh, that is uh, toyota and car model 
uh, also we will initialize the value because it is also a string variable it is corolla and you you need to note one thing that my car it is uh, access uh, this brand of brand uh, string variable it is accessed by using the object mail and after that this dot uh, operator is also given now here is an integer variable in a class template and uh, uh, my car dot year uh, uh, it is given a value 2020 now as soon as we assign this value this will be stored in this memory uh, which is allocated for this object so here there will be toyota then here there will be corolla here there will be 2020 and here mileage it is it will be updated at 15.5 15.5 Five. So this is how uh, once we create the object, the memory allocation takes place. That is the only purpose of demonstration of this code, so that you will understand how memory allocation uh, is uh, done once we create the object of a class. And now by using the dot operator and the same object name, we can call the member functions of the class. Now what we can see that start engine, uh, display info. And stop engine. All these three are the member functions of this class my car, and that uh, that uh, uh, member functions can also be called by using the dot or dot operator preceding with the uh, car uh, my car, which is the object name. And what is this return zero as? The int is the return type of this main uh, function. Uh, we have to return the zero. Before ending the uh, definition of the main function, and here our code is ended. Okay, so this is how students we can see the the how after the execution of uh, after the creation of the uh, my car now object memory allocation will be done, and how we can uh, modify the values of these. Uh, a uh, data members which are actually defined in the class template by using the um, object name and for that we have to use the dot operator okay student and uh, we will um, now discuss the uh, code we will execute the code ha huh. see students now we will create uh, we are using the del c flip uh, del c++ and uh, i will uh, open a new source file and uh, uh, inside this new source file we will start writing the code which we have discussed in the presentation now here see these two uh, uh, this, this uh, compiler directory uh, directive is important hash include i stream then using namespace std uh, this also i have discussed earlier that why this required then uh, uh, now uh, we will see Uh, first the class definition okay so now see here students the class inside the class definition initially i am giving this is just a comment okay uh, because after that we are going to define a class definition i already written the code for you but we will just copy uh, this statement now here this class car class is a keyword car is the name of a name of our class okay and you can this is just the identifier you can give any other name okay and now as i have told you that public access specifier is also required so that we will uh, mention the access of that particular data variable now all the four Member uh, data members we are going to declare uh, under the uh, public access specifier and four data members are the brand, model, year and mileage. Brand and model are the string variables. A uh, year is an integer variable and mileage is a decimal number. That's why it is a float variable. Okay. So now under this public access specifier we have defined this four variables. These are the four data members. Data variables of uh, which belongs to the uh, car class, and now see students. 
uh, here the with this opening curly bracket we are starting the definition of the uh, uh, car class and here after this uh, curly bracket we need to give the semicolon so that it will end the definition of the car class okay and now uh, after this we will uh, define for member functions of this class also and uh, also you need to note that there uh, all these four uh, sorry three member functions are the uh, are defined under the public access specifier okay so here i am giving uh, uh, the comment that is the member function and you need to uh, understand that these are just the comment this will not be executed by the compiler okay these four are the uh, data members Me data members are also called as the attribute and member functions are also called as the behavior okay and now see here first definition it is a uh, start engine function name is the starting start engine and since we are not passing any uh, parameters or arguments uh, to this member function so this simple uh, opening and curly bracket is uh, blank and return type of this member function is uh, void okay so this uh, we will uh, copy and we will paste it in untitled so that is the first definition and since it belongs to the class it, its definition should also be inside the class okay and here the definition of the start engine start and here the definition is ended okay now uh, next uh, there are three member functions inside our uh, class car so third uh, uh, second member functions now function we will uh, copy the name of the second member function is stop engine it is just the identifier you can give any any other name okay it is just the name of the member function and since we are not uh, uh, going to pass any parameter that's why this uh, is blank this uh, opening and the closing bracket uh, inside it it is blank and return type of this member function is void okay and we have displayed only one message inside this okay so we will copy the function uh, definition as it is in our program okay so that is the and here by using this tab i am just following the indentation so that um, it is uh, more readable it will be more readable code okay and uh, then uh, next uh, third uh, uh, member function it is a uh, uh, void display okay and void display uh, its return type is also void its name is display info okay and uh, uh, its um, uh, there are only four messages uh, we are going to display that is the brand model and year and mileage of that so uh, how to use the see out for displaying the messages and variable values that also we have discussed uh, in our uh, previous video okay so here i will just uh, uh, copy the definition of this uh, display info uh, function in our code okay so here uh, this is the definition uh, of the display info function okay and return type of all three is the, all these three uh, function is void okay and here the class definition of third member function has ended and here the class definition has ended and now we will be there in the main program okay so now int main and this main is required we know uh, that how main is uh, important uh, for our code okay so we write now inside the main the first thing see by class definition we have just created the template that how many data members will be there inside our uh, object then how many member functions will be there that template is created okay just we are telling the compiler that this will be the data members in our program and this will be the member functions in our program but yet not yet the uh, object has not been created and the memory allocation has not been done that is the important thing you need to understand but as soon as we create the object of that particular class the memory allocation will be 
done so we will just give one um, uh, comment here that creating an object of a car class and that object will belong to the car class that is also very important thing you need to uh, understand okay so here uh, the name of a uh, class is car and we will uh, create one object named my car okay my c a r car okay but as soon as we create this object my object name will be my car and as soon as we create this uh, object the memory allocation for all this data members and member functions of that particular class will uh, will be done okay and now for accessing and for modifying the values of those data members uh, we will have to use the dot operators as we have discussed earlier uh, in this video okay so now how i can access this uh, data member i want to uh, update the value of the brand of of this uh, uh, car i want to update the uh, value of the model i want to update the value of the year and mileage okay so that i will do by using the dot operator so how to do it i want to update the my car uh mileage okay suppose or model so what is the uh, model of the car that is uh, corolla so we will use assignment operator and a uh, corolla it is the model then i want to update my car dot brand okay so my car dot brand is equal to i will because both are string variable we need to give the string okay so then uh, i want to update my car mileage sorry year so i will update it as it is integer variable so i will update it as 2020 integer number and then my car mileage i will update it as Uh, since it is a float variable, fifteen point five. So this is how I can update the values. But for that, I have to use the object name, which is my car. Okay. And now I can call the member functions of the car by using the dot operator. So my car member uh, my car dot operator member function. I want to call the start engine member uh, function. Okay. So that I will do uh, first, and then. again next uh, member function which also belong to the my car ob uh, object okay that is stop engine that i will call and then i will display my car dot display info function and once i finish the calling and updating all the data variables and uh, calling the member function now what i will do i will write return 0 as the return type of my uh, main is what the integer okay so with this our code is completed and before uh, ending we have to, uh, don't forget to give the closing bracket that is curly bracket that is for the main okay and now i will first save the code as uh, my car my car dot uh, my car uh, object and now we will execute the code Now again, I will compile and run the code. What we can observe that uh, engine started. This function has been um, called engine stop. This function has been called then brand Toyota model Corolla year 2020 and mileage. So all these uh, variables are also updated. Okay, students. Thank you very much uh, for watching the watch, watching this video. And if you like uh, the video, please uh, press the Uh, like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you students